Hello, hello. I have a Gottlieb card whiz that I am just got and starting to go through. What's going on with it? If I hit start, top scores are not resetting. I think it's the 1000 relay is locking on. If I come down to the play field here, and I think when it's locked on, this out hole is not kicking, but you could play one ball and it would continuously, it would not advance the player unit. So I started at the player unit here. I haven't done too much yet, but here I took this off, cleaned up the rivets. It now moves freely with the top scores not resetting. I believe it's one of these switches here on the third stack. I'm going to, you know, take this off, look at it a little bit more, but this is kind of my initial guess. That's probably the first thing I want to tackle. Make sure the scores can reset, get into a game and start playing. And from there I can see what other problems pop up, but so far so good. We'll keep going here. Just a update here. I decided to go ahead and go through all the score reels. They're kind of sticky, a little gummy, needed adjusted. So I'm just going to go through all eight of these here. You can just see the pile of grease on that one. So I'm going to clean these up and go from there. I went ahead, cleaned and adjusted score reels. I might need to adjust the score reels a little bit more, but what I've done, I put up all ones. If I hit start, ding sound is I got something locked on and this was better than what I it has been doing but need to adjust the six here but rest looked like that reset it fine I'm starting to score so that was kind of the main thing one thing I noticed on this L relay and I haven't touched it but just kind of show what's going on with it is this is all out of sorts so go ahead and fix this but I said I haven't touched it but just wanted to show what was going on with this and trying this again, I just fixed that L relay. Go ahead, hit start, see what happens here. And I think that is now game is playing. Definitely getting close. One thing I noticed, this is still not kicking out. It's scoring. I just like to run through, make sure all the switches are working here. think this reset I had this down last game so that's something I need to double check couple of them stick that I noticed these are switches so and these Everything looks good. Free games are scoring. That's good. Looks like most things are working here, which is really good. So I gotta probably figure out why this is not kicking out. So pop that out. Maybe look at if this reset or not and try to think of anything else. I'll definitely go through, clean the play field, new rubbers, and hopefully it doesn't need much more than that, but Thought it would be worth taking just a minute here to go over this method in a little bit more detail. I brought out a few pictures here. First things, just caveat, don't be dumb. When you're messing with electricity, bad things can happen. So kind of know what you're doing. Also, don't do this test with 120 volt circuit. Make sure you're on the lamp circuit or the solenoid circuits, usually plus six volts or plus 25, 50 volts range but don't do it with the 120 volts and then don't hurt yourself or the machine. And going over this, what I have here is the diagram or the circuit for the hole kicker. And if you're unfamiliar with this, I can kind of go through quickly. This is the solenoid symbol. And these are the switches that require this to fire. Essentially what I need to do is go and complete a complete path. So if I start here, I have to go all the way around, come back through, come through the transformer and come back up. If that happens, this solenoid is going to engage or fire. And just before I dig in a little bit deeper, just realize the transformer down here, this is going to be 25 volts or 50 volts, depending on what game you have. 
On the bottom side is 120 volts. Don't do this on the bottom half of the transformer. Make sure you're on the top half. Other thing I don't have in this diagram is there is a fuse right here in between the transformer and bound switch. And this is kind of why I'm using the bound switch, as you'll see in the next picture. That way, if something bad does happen, there is a fuse here that will hopefully blow and just a extra added precaution. That's why I kind of picked the bound switch to pick that and not directly to the transformer, which you could also do. But I prefer having that little bit of security with that extra fuse in line here. What's going to happen on the hole kicker is the G relay, there's a switch that's normally open. On the X relay, there's one that's normally closed. Score motor 4C switch is normally open. And then the B of X end of game is normally closed. And if this hole kicker is going to fire, this G needs to close and the score motor needs to get called and spin. And when it spins, this is going to close at one point. Once I have that, I can have a complete circuit here. What I'm doing with the alligator test is I'm kind of essentially testing each switch and making sure it is closed. When I start this, I'm going to connect it to the solenoid, the hole kicker solenoid, and I'm going to go to the bounce switch and it doesn't matter really if I'm on the left or right of this. I know this bounce switch is working because all my other switches and solenoids are firing. I know this is fine. So I could have went to the left of it or the right of it in this diagram. I just went to the right of it. And what this alligator clip is doing is it's bypassing G, X, score motor 4C, and BX. So the path it's going to take is it's going to go through the solenoid, come down, it's going to take the least amount of resistance, and come here. If I just touch this bounce switch and this coil fires, it tells me that, first of all, my coil's good. That's one thing I want to check kind of right away. And then I know my problems then is going to be one of these four switches. But depending on where you want to go, you can go, you know, right of BX and make sure there's a solid connection. I can go left and keep going down. And eventually I'm going to find where that break is at. On the next one, what I'm doing is I'm going right on the right side of score motor 4C. And now the path that it's going to take is it's going to go through the solenoid, come down through the jumper, go through B of X and all the way back to the start here. If I touch the alligator clip here on motor 4C and it fires, that tells me BX is closed and this is working. The next thing I'm going to do is just keep moving down. And now if I do the same thing on score motor 4C, and one thing I point out in the video at the end here is I manually close this switch. That way I don't have to jumper it or anything. I can truly test it. And so kind of imagine this switch is now closed. I'm jumping over both G and X. And if I touch this and it fires, that then tells me this switch is good and BX is good, which I already knew. And I'm just keep going down. And now I do this. If I touch it here and it fires, that tells me X score motor 4C and BX are all good. And the only thing left is G. So on my game, it was this G, it was misaligned. I had to go back. I cleaned it, aligned it. And once this was properly adjusted, this fired. And this was, you know, kind of an easier way to demonstrate how to troubleshoot this hole kicker not firing. Just want to go back and show this, maybe make a little bit more sense. And now I can go back to the video here and kind of show you what I did in the game. So hopefully that makes sense for you. Here I just want to show how troubleshooting the hole kicker problem. I'm just going to do the jumper wire method here. And what I've done, I've connected to the green and red wire on the out hole kicker solenoid. And first thing I'm going to do, there are four switches I need to check. I'm going to jumper all four of those and go directly to the bounce switch because that goes to the fuse and then that goes to the transformer. So what I have, just a alligator clip here. And what I have is the bounce switch right here. And if I touch this, I should get a coil to fire. And it does fire. Next switch is the BX switch. I'm going to go ahead and skip that one and check if motor 4C switch is working. If I check the right side of that and it works, that tells me BX is working. 4C is really easy to get at. It's right here. One thing I did is I disconnected the power to the motor, turned this, so now this switch here is closed. It's normally open. So again, I just took the power off 
turned it and now this switch is closed right here and what I want is this blue and yellow wire here so if I hit this and it fires that tells me that the BX switch is good so that tells me BX is good I can go on the other side of this switch so this is left of it and if this fires this tells me that the motor 4C switch is good and it tells me it's good so I'm just going to keep going down the next thing I need to get at is the X relay and on the X relay I'm looking for the slate red and yellow red wire if that one's good I'm just going to keep going down and then it goes to the G switch which is the yellow red and also green red so let me see if I can get here so X is right here the yellow red is right here this is going to be I think the left side of it so that fired now I'm coming to the G relay and that fired and so what this tells me is it's the G relay because that's the only switch left once I go to the left side of it and I would have to manually activate this because it's normally open it should fire so what I need to do is check this G switch maybe clean adjust it and see if that brings back the problem but I've eliminated the BX the score motor and the X one and now I should be able to get this working again but wanted to show how to do that I went ahead and adjusted that one switch on the G relay and this is now firing when I tested it when I was in there I went ahead I pulled the drop target bank I'm going to go ahead and service that make sure that's better and next thing I want to do is just strip the play field clean it wax it re-rubber it go through the drop target unit and put that all back together but all the switches were I think it's done but definitely got to play it some more and see what happens but Scores are reset fine, game plays. One thing I do need to do is make sure players one and two are both playing, but this is kind of just a quick update here. I'm in the process of stripping the play field. I just gave it a one-time cleaning here. I'm gonna bounce back to it, but before I did that, I went ahead, took ahead, took apart the drop target, assembly started rebuilding it, and just cleaning it up and letting it dry out in the sun. And I think I found my problem with why some of the drop targets were not resetting. So if you see that, there is quite a bit of a notch taken out. I can focus in a little bit better here. There you go. There's a little bit of a notch taken out on all these triggers. So I'm going to see if I can go ahead and replace these. The battery was dying, so I didn't show a lot of this, but went ahead and cleaned up the drop target bank we did the kind of the letterings on the drop targets here did replace the triggers on those these are now resetting fine one other issue i came across was the bonus was kind of sticking wasn't counting correctly i went in and cleaned the i relay that's a as relay and also kind of the same thing with the match lights it was uh, kind of sticking so clean that i think that's the f relay and that's an AS relay and just wanted to go over some of the rules here I went ahead turned it on scored a few points but kind of cool the way the bonus works on this kind of whatever drop targets you get gives you a corresponding bonus at the end of ball you can also double it I'm on a three ball game now so what happens is this will automatically light on balls two and three depending on if you get the jokers there's a green red and white it will increase the drop target score so normally drop targets are 1000 if I get a joker it's going to light one of these for an additional thousand when I land in the out hole also if I hit a drop target I'm going to get 2000 points if I hit another joker it will increase it up to 3000 points so kind of a neat way for it to kind of reward you if you hit those jokers three jokers will light special uh, joker shots are kind of hard to hit this one up here a lot of times you got to get it off the pop bumper it's kind of uh, buried it can't get a direct shot on it you got the rollovers here and then you got the two stand-up targets uh, if this lights it does open a gate down here and 3000 will light if you get a certain ball so just kind of show the bonus here so if i get a kings or a jack this will go ahead and light so you can kind of see one point here uh, this lights the jack so let's go ahead hit a joker here got some relay kind of buzz in here and you can see this lights the three green and now let's say i'm going to go for two kings and two jacks 
So now I'm going to hit a Kings. Now watch the drop target score. Now you see it's worth 2,000. And kind of continue if I hit this. And now if I hit the, let's say, Ace, I should get 3,000. And last one, if I hit the Joker up here, now lights the out hole for a special. If I hit the 10 now, should get 24,000. And get 24,000. If the ball drops in here, I'll collect 1,000 plus 2,000, which is 3,000. So should get 27,000 here when the ball drops. It's going through, it's counting, hit after. It's not there, so 27,000 ball kicks out. And now double bonus is lit. Targets reset on each ball. And now I'm back to playing like normal. So double bonus is cool. Also what it does, if I get 1,000, it's gonna count 1,000 twice. If I get 2,000, it's gonna count. And it's just kind of scanning and looking for these. And if it's, you know, doubles lit, I'm gonna get two 1,000, two 2,000, th two 3,000 and keep advancing so you can get a pretty high bonus on this. I'm going to do an additional kind of video deep dive on the bonus scoring. It's kind of an in-depth look at the schematics along with maybe some of the mechs on doing that. So if you're curious to learn a little bit more about how to read schematics and following along with the bonus unit and how the bonus scores, you can check the link in the description. I'll have a video and a little series on how to do a more of a deep dive on the scoring bonus but I think this game's done I'll go ahead play a game just to kind of show everything that goes on with it but as I said kind of a cool game glad I got a chance to work on it and I believe this game's done I need to play it just a little bit more to make sure nothing else pops up but all scoring everything is good on this so let me go ahead and drain these and I'll go ahead and play a game here okay we'll go ahead play a game here see how I do Lit so 15,000 first ball. Free game is 62,000, so I got some work cut out here to do that. We got 6,000. You can kind of hear when it's counted, it counts twice, and then jumps and counts. This is double bonus last ball here at 25,000. With 38,000, also got a match here at the end, so kind of a quick little look, not the best game, but gives you some idea of the gameplay.